Welcome to Unity Review Week, courtesy of Mr. Tools Store on AliExpress and eBay. This week we're going to have a bevy of Unity products from power supplies, multimeters, and everything in between. And I don't mean toothbrush. But hey, you never know. Is there a Unity toothbrush? Hmm. That would be cool. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff in store, so sit back, relax, pull out a cold one or a hot one. Here First in the spotlight is a pen style multimeter. Yes, this is the Unity UT 118B. And it is pretty nifty. Now, you know, when I get excited about meters, well, there's a reason. It's because I love to test things. I love troubleshooting. I just love it. I love, I don't know why. It's just, I find it relaxing. You know, I've made my living doing this and I just, I don't know how to say it other than I can really appreciate Good equipment, good kit, gear, whatever you want to call it. Stuff that makes my life easy, but at the same time interesting and fun. And you know what? Unity has been doing that a lot lately. They're coming out with a lot of really neat gear that is good quality, good price, and dare I say, um, on the cutting edge. And I really appreciate that because in this day and age of mediocre, um, it's really nice to see a company thinking out of the box. And believe you me, Unity's not paying me to say this. These are my own words. Now with the 118B, the first thing you'll notice is it is actually a real pen style meter. Now, a lot of these handheld meters are calling themselves pen meters. You know what, they're not, they're not. Look at that Olsen that I reviewed not so long ago. I'm gonna put it right beside this guy. Now you tell me which one would be more comfortable in the hand. Yeah. So, you know, big in this case is definitely not better. No, you want a pen style meter that is light and small, something you can throw in your pocket, take off site and pull it out when you need it and put it away when you don't. And definitely the 118B suits that criteria. Spec wise, this is pretty nifty little meter. Um, it does a lot of things. We take a look at the actual um, body or chassis itself. We can see we've got a backlight, a select switch, a hold, maximum, and as well, the basic on-off, voltage AC, DC, EF mode, and I'll explain that in a minute. And as well, you have your continuity, your diode, capacitance even, and resistance. Another nice feature of the fact that this meter actually has a protected probe. So when you actually want to gain the needle-like probe, you just turn it, twist it, and there you go. When you don't need it, same thing, and it's out of the way, protected, and uh, won't be poking you in the butt. You know, Unity has rated this fairly as a Cat 2 600 volt or a Cat 3 300 volt, uh, maximum 600 volts AC DC, and I think that's pretty fair. They also get one standard probe with the um, pen style like meter and this is rated as well at 10 amps cat to 600 volts um it's fairly long probe as well so when you plug it in you have quite a lot of room for play here um definitely no shortage of uh space at least about three and a half really nice feature of this multimeter is the fact that it has a very crisp clear concise display Look at those little LCD crystals. I mean, that is pretty darn good looking as far as I can see. Very nice, very bright, and you know, you really don't need a backlight. But guess what? Unity included a backlight. That's right. And I think even with the backlight, it still is an exceptional display for such a tiny little pen meter. Now the backlight will stay on for about a minute or so, and then it turns off. I wish it stayed on all the time. But uh, once again, the display is very, very nice. Another nice feature is when you do enable that backlight as well, you also get an LED kind of flashlight style in the front. So you will actually have some light illuminating the area that you are probing. Good job. Start things off, we're in DC accuracy mode. Have it hooked up to the precision reference and we should be looking around 250 volts. 250 millivolts rather, and as you can see, we're pretty darn close to 249. 
Next, we should be seeing 2.50 volts and spot on 2.500. Starting with the green LED, it is lighting up ever so barely, and there's the forward voltage drop. Going over to the yellow, lights them up and gives us an indicator. Over to the red, no worries there. Try it again, yeah. Over to the white LED. And let's see here, it doesn't look like it. No, not getting anything with the white LED. Finally, the blue LED. It is lighting it up ever so barely, uh, but we're not getting a visual indicator. So uh, I guess it's a mixed bag in terms of LED luminosity. Uh, lit up a few of them and gave us a voltage drop for a few. In diode mode, the Unity pen meter is putting out a healthy almost 2.8 volts. So uh, actually quite surprising for such a small, small pen style meter. Next up is capacitance mode and I have it hooked up right now to a 100 nanofarad capacitor and we're showing 111 while well within spec. Here's the 2200 microfarad capacitor electrolytic and showing us around 1800 or so. Now this has a 3000 microfarad capacitance or three millifarad, which I'd have to say is pretty darn good for a pen meter. Resistance is next. I've got a nice old but good five ohm resistor. Get a lot of bang for your buck with these old resistors. Much more so than my last girlfriend, but hey, that's another story. Five ohms, almost spot on. The 118B has a 30 mega ohm resistance capability, sitting right now at 5.19 mega ohm pretty darn close let's take it down a notch three let's try 2.99 mega ohm 2.97 nice and fast quick to settle i don't see any problems here already next up is continuity that is right and i have the default lead yeah we only have one to work with because we can change that tip so here we go with the default lead. Wow, it's actually pretty good. It's latched, it's loud. Very, very impressive. Okay, kids, don't try this at home. Here's the probe master. Wow, this thing is awesome in continuity. I really was not expecting that. Jeez. Let's try a real world test here. I've got a little circuit board from a meter and let's just try hitting those tracks. Wow, this thing is actually really impressive. Hey, last but not I least like is the EF mode, also known as extra funny. <laughs> which that really wasn't. Sorry, this is one of my basement jokes. Okay, so with EF mode, basically this is the NCV mode. It's the same darn thing, doesn't mean anything else. It's a non-contact voltage detection mode. So you simply put it into EF mode, electric field detection, and find your power source. Here we go, I've got a standard 120 volt cable. Let's just pull it back a little bit. And let's see what happens. The 118B takes a standard little button cell, a CR 2032 three volt battery. And these are pretty cheap. You can pick them up for a dime a dozen, literally. So yeah, grab one of these, a little batteries, if you do get this meter. As you can see, it also has a nice threaded insert, so you don't have to worry about any long-term wear and tear. I've taken off the top of the tip probe, and as you can see here, there is a really nice um, spring mechanism, really solid, um, so that is not going anywhere. On the other side, the reverse side, you've got that LED flashlight, and that is right on top of the tip. Take a look on the other side. First of all, we can see there is no shielding. Alrighty, and inside the meter itself, let's take a good close look starting at the top. 
So we see uh, one big capacitor, uh, an oscillator as well. Take a close look at that IC from Cyrus Tech. That's the ES51926 3000 count smart DMM IC. Uh, this one has the on-chip buzzer driver. Um, nice little chip that pretty well does everything. 3000 count, does all the integrated ADC and uh, the display driver as well. So uh, complete functionality in one chip. Moving down the line, we see we have one PTC over here. There's our speaker or buzzer, transistors, dials, lots of our SMD components. And what else do we have over here? Here we have a 104 ohm thin film resistor. Those are high heat resistors, uh, high reliability metal film chip. And uh, yeah, nice to see one of those inside. All in all, uh, not too bad. A little bit of flux left over here on the uh, positive negative terminals from the input lead. But um, generally speaking, um, yeah, I like what I see. We have one trim pot as well, ZR2. And um, overall impression is it's quite nice. Okay, going to bring it all together and come back with the closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the UT-118B from Unity. I like it. Yeah, this is a very niche multimeter. It's tiny, can fit in the back of your pocket. No worries. The only downside, yes, it does not do current, not even milliamps. So if you need any sort of current testing, it's a no-fly zone. And I think it definitely has its place. I'm gonna give the 118B a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. It's Unity Review Week. Lots more coming this week. Stay tuned. Thanks to Jerry from Mr. Tool Store and AliExpress and eBay for providing these great, great products for review. Till the next time, keep those comments coming. Give me a thumbs up. And best of all, keep on testing.